This is a sort of demo where I basically took the idea of the CSGO by menu where it was a circle and you can click on the stuff and it will take you to different options within that circle uh, and made it inside of GDevelop. It's very simple and hopefully quite easy to understand. So what I've got on the right here is the weapon wheel object itself which is just a bunch of sprites with the different sub options in that weapon wheel. So we have the main one which shows the pistols, the heavy, the SMGs, the rifles, the gear and the grenades and then the uh, pistols one which is the pistols, then the uh, heavy which is the heavy and then etc. You can see here in the gear we have it's split into four instead of the usual six and so uh, I had to make three separate ones, uh, three separate of these hover things here and so what these do is you can see there are lots of them. These basically act as a user feedback for when you hover over the option and so you can see they don't perfectly line up with the circle just because this is uh, more of a demo example rather than a polished thing and also very sorry about the terrible quality of the sprites here. I did them at 128 by 128 and I didn't realize that it was that bad quality. So you can see these all go in the right places. So there's the pistols one in the top left, the heavy in the top right, etc. And then the gear top right and bottom. So I'm using this cursor because instead of checking to see if the mouse itself is on an object, because these aren't square or uh, rectangular, the triangles, I'm going to use their own hitbox. And so you can see in this object, I've made a custom hitbox for each of these objects. And so now, because of this, I can check to see if this cursor is colliding with the hitboxes of these. And so then it gives a more accurate result of what's being hit. And so before I go into the um, events, I'm going to just play this. And once again, sorry about the quality, but you can see that if I hover over them, it has that uh, hover thing. And if I click on pistols, it goes over here. But you'll notice if I go on this, it doesn't have that hover thing anymore and then I can press B to go back into the main one and if I go into gear it goes into the four and nothing here press B to go back rifles this is all of them press B to go back heavy once again doesn't have this one and that's all that really so that is basically what it does it's a very simple implementation and it's very cool so now in the events what I've got here is basically what happens is we have already set the positions of these uh, hover things, right? And so when our mouse or when uh, this even is colliding with one of these hover things, we want to just change the opacity of it. And then when it's not colliding with it, we want to change it to zero. So it looks like it's, it's coming up and going off again. And so at the beginning of the scene, we want to set all of them to zero. And that just makes it so that you don't have one frame at the start of the scene where it's setting it to zero from the cursor not being in collision with it. Because then in that frame, you'll be able to see all of them, which just kind of disrupts the user experience. We want it to be completely invisible at all times unless the cursor is on it. Uh, so changing it to zero at the beginning of the scene will do this. And then I'll hide this cursor because I don't actually want this to be seen. This isn't my own custom cursor. Um, I'm just using this for the collisions and so I still want the main mouse cursor to be seen and also just going to change the camera zoom just because the sprites aren't that big so here I'm just setting the uh, cursor position to the mouse position and so this is where the fun begins over here we have a scene variable which is selected option and the five is the gear and so if I go down here and go into five this is changing it to gear and so this is changing all of those six options to the three or the four but the left one isn't used and so this does its own thing so at the top here these are at the top and when it's not equal to five because we want all of these to have their hover things set when we aren't in that gear options thing and so i can just put this up here without having it in any of these so that i don't need to keep copy and pasting it in all of these different uh, set variables and so what these do is it's basically the same as doing a mouse cursor is on an object but instead it's the cursor on this and then it just changes the opacity of it basically and that's the same for all of these but just for their respective objects and so that's what that is 
Then over here, we're just saying what happens when the selected option variable is equal to a certain number. So when it's equal to zero, this will be the main. And so we're going to set the animation to main. And we're also going to do the grenade select. And so this is the variable specific thing because this grenade select is the far left one. And so as you saw, not all of the different sub options had the far left one that you can click on. And so we only want to have this set when we have that far left option. So for example, in the rifles and in the main. And so this is only in the main and in the rifles. It's not up here because we don't want it to be in all of the different options. And so then it's just doing clicking on it and then setting the different variables when you click on it. And so if you click on pistols, it will set it to one. And if it's set to one, it will change the animation of the weapon wheel to the pistols animation. Then obviously if you press B, it will change it back to uh, zero. I guess to make this even more streamlined, you could have this just be like up here somewhere. And so then it's not the uh, variable specific because whenever we press B on anything, it's just going to change it back to uh, select option to zero anyway. And so it doesn't matter if it's in each variable, we can just have it outside of it. So that is one way to improve this further. And so then you can just see if it's equal to two, then it's heavy. So if we click on the heavy one, then it's going to set it to two. And then obviously if it's set to two, then it will change it to this. And so when it's four, it will be rifles and you can select the far left one. And so this is where we get to the gear part. And so this gear part has the three. And so you can see that there's this and this and this, and these I've placed in their correct positions. And so this is basically the same as up here, but it only happens when this scene variable is set to five. So when it's not in the gear options, it's not gonna be setting the opacity to 50. And so then obviously down here is just the uh, grenades. And so you can see here, uh, I've got these two trigger once here, which just set the opacity of the selection group to zero. So I've also used groups. You can see I've got this selection group. If I edit it, you can see I've got all of these these top ones here inside of it. And so this makes it a really easy way to show and hide loads of layers in just one action instead of lots of actions. So it's really good to use groups for that kind of stuff. And so I'm using groups for all of these ones as well as these three in this gear selection like this. So over here, I'm setting the opacity of the selection group. So all of these two uh, zero and this is because previously before doing this if you clicked on the gear button then it would keep showing the uh, hover thing that you clicked on because the variables changed and it's not doing that thing anymore it's not gonna know when to uh, hide that hover thing anymore and so same with this um, obviously because when you go on the grenades it's the far left button and then in the actual grenades tab itself it doesn't have a far left and so it will just stay on when you're inside the grenades. And so you want to hide it yourself manually. And so by doing this method, you can also just add tweens and have some cool fade ins, fade outs and stuff. And so it's quite simple. I'll put this on GitHub as well, just as a kind of demo example thing. Have fun. Hope this helped you. Peace. <laughs>